YouTube, what's good? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Shoe Care Academy. My name's Pretty Boy Rob, and I'll be hanging out with you and cleaning up these filthy, grimy, dusty Air Jordan 13s that came out in 2017. They're pretty beat, like I said, but there's not a doubt in my mind that our essential kit is gonna get the job done. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get that shoe out of here and hop straight into this episode of Shoe Care Academy. Whoop! For today's... <laughs> Whoop! Reverse that. For today's cleaning, we are gonna be showcasing our essential shoe cleaning kit that will come with all three of our signature brushes, solution, of course, and our microfiber towel. We're also gonna be using our adjustable shoe tree to keep the form and integrity in the shoe, our dry and rack bowl combo, and our cleaning mat that is highly absorbent. I will be showcasing that later on in the video just to show you what exactly I'm talking about. But for this cleaning, first things first, I'm gonna to go to remove these laces and then insert our adjustable shoe tree. So let's go. All right, I'm just gonna set these things off to the side and insert our adjustable shoe tree. These are a size nine and a half. I know that because I did have the pleasure of rocking them for about a month. Don't ask me what I did in them things, but I put them to the test. Perfect, now that we got our adjustable shoe tree in, we got that nice hard toe box so I can apply as much as pressure as I need to. I'm just gonna start by using our soft bristle brush and just dry brush as much of this dirt off as possible. So here we go. All right, this dry brushing technique is very crucial, especially when you're dealing with suede, because obviously uh, when you're dealing with any dyed color suede, there's always a chance for it to bleed or color transfer. I'm a little worried about that, but not too worried. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just grab our solution, squirt a couple squirts inside the bowl. Now that our solution of water is ready, I'm gonna grab the soft brush again and uh, just start hammering all this dirt. I'm gonna avoid not to oversaturate this material again, because I don't want it to bleed too bad. One thing we like to recommend is possibly checking a small area in the back section just to see what type of color bleeding you're dealing with when you are working with dye suede. So I'm gonna start that first. So as I tested just this small section of the suede, I did notice that it is bleeding. I got it on the microfiber cloth as well as a little bit on the brush. So again, I'm just gonna clean the whole shoe and just avoid not to oversaturate this material so it doesn't bleed too bad. As I'm pat drying this shoe, I'm just gonna get some facts about the Bread 13. It actually uh, originally dropped back in 98, then it retroed for the first time in 2004, then again in 2013, and then again in 2017. This 2017 pair actually is more like the OG because it comes with that 3M reflective in the dots. The 2013 pair didn't have that. That's why once these dropped, a lot of people were excited about them. Let us know in the comments if you guys are excited. If you got some Bread 13s, what's your favorite bread colorway is in general, but with all that being said, there are some deeper stains, so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab our medium all-purpose brush, work on those, and then attack with some of those stains in the pods as well. So these Bread 13s are pretty dope. I would say personally, my favorite bread model out of all of them has to be the Bread 11s. Favorite shoe of all time, actually, so if you guys wanna send me a pair, why not? My birthday did just pass. All right, we're all done with the uppers. It's about that time we hit it with the stiff bristle brush and get a deep clean on these outsoles. So let's get it, let's go. Ta-da! All right, we're pretty much wrapped up with this cleaning. Last but not least, we just gotta go ahead and wash the laces. Just gonna place them inside the bowl, swoosh them around like so, and then uh, let's just go ahead and scrub all that dirt and grime off. And there it is. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and set this shoe outside to dry for a couple hours. So let me just go ahead and put this here. But right now I really wanna focus on this mat. As you can see, all that dirt and grime fell off on the mat. It's looking trash. Just imagine if you were cleaning on your kitchen counter, the bathroom, you would have made a huge mess. Another thing.
As you can see, it's highly exorbitant, little to no mess. So let's go ahead and uh, put this, all this stuff in the washer, set these outside to dry, and I'll check in with you before you know it. And we are back. We did go and let this shoe dry for 24 hours. So let's go ahead and check out these results. As you can see, that toe box, the leather is clean in condition. These uppers are looking perfect. The next steps for me to do is go ahead and get them laced up as well as just reset this suede. As you know, when you clean any type of suede, it gets that crunchy texture. So we are gonna go ahead and reset that, make it nice and buttery. So let's go ahead and uh, put some butter on this bread. All right, we're all done resetting that suede. As you can see, it's nice and plush and got that buttery texture that I was talking about. Now it's time for you guys' favorite part of the video and go ahead and get these things laced up. So here we go. And there it is on these Bread 13s. Let's just go ahead and recap today's episode. We achieved these results using our essential shoe cleaning kit paired with our dry suede kit. First, I used our soft bristle brush, broke down as much as dirt and grime on these uppers as possible. Then I moved on to our medium bristle brush and tackled some of those deeper stains. Last, we hit it with the stiff bristle brush on those midsoles and soles. Then we let it dry for 24 hours, came back, laced them up, and then reset that suede. Got that buttery texture using our dry suede kit. With all that being said, that's gonna wrap things up for today's episode of the World Famous Shoe Care Academy. And when I say world famous, I mean it. I mean, we got people checking in from China, the Philippines, South America, you name it. Matter of fact, why don't you guys name it? Make sure you sound off in the comments below and let us know where you're watching from. My name is Pretty Boy Rob, and I'll see you in another one. Peace.